Hey guys, this is Miss Rogers, and today I'm going to talk to you about our new Middle School General Google Classroom. So if you haven't already, you're going to make sure you add the class code. I'll pop that up real big. It is case sensitive, so you need to make sure you're using all lowercase letters. Now, our Middle School General Google Classroom is going over uh, different announcements and resources that we want students to have. So in the stream, if you notice at the top, it tells you, it underlines it in blue, which section you are on. So on the stream uh, is where we can have conversations. Either students can ask questions or teachers can post important information and announcements. So what you'll see here is teachers posting different Zoom codes, uh, students asking questions and just making announcements as to what's happening and what's important. Uh, make sure you keep scrolling and are up to date with what announcements are being posted onto Google Classroom. We want to make sure you stay informed anytime a new material is added. It does send a notification to the stream, so you can either click it to directly view it or go to the Classwork tab at the top. Now that'll take you here. You'll see Zoom meetings. Uh, so the Zoom schedule is at the top of those. It'll always be at the top. Now it goes over what times and when each of the middle school teachers is teaching a Zoom class. Make sure you're aware of what time your Zoom is taking place and make sure you know those codes. I would recommend signing in at least 10 minutes ahead of time to make sure you have your code written down. Uh, also make sure you have some paper and pencil so you can take notes during the Zoom sessions. Now under that, you're going to see a breakdown. Um, that's not in the right order. Uh, you'll see a breakdown of different classes. So for instance, Math Zoom is on Monday. There you'll see a breakdown not only of grade and class, but you'll see what time and what the meeting ID is. So this is where you need to be referencing the meeting IDs. Uh, sometimes the teachers will post it in the stream, but don't heavily rely on teachers posting it in the stream. Um, go to the actual class that you're doing it for. Uh, I tried to put in parentheses what day of the week each one is just for your convenience. Uh, there's multiple genres. Uh, section is for teachers to post uh, essentially like the work plans. Uh, we're coming up with a PowerPoint that we're gonna start next week and it's gonna have all the assignments for each class. Um, so it's kind of like a one-stop shop of uh, what the students need to prepare and uh, a daily checklist for them to do just so um, we're all aware of what needs to be done. Uh, I posted my assignments for this week. Uh, for my specific classes, I did work plans uh, so students know what's expected of them. And Ms. Whitus also added on an assignment under that. For resources and information, so Classlink Launchpad is our new Forward with ISD apps. This is very important to know. So Classlink is the new Forward with ISD apps. Uh, if you need some help troubleshooting, uh, there is a infograph talking about the My Forward with ISD Classlink apps. Um, you definitely should check that out. If you need to contact a teacher, whether it's via email um, or phone number, a couple of us have their phone number. Uh, to reach us, uh, you may uh, find that in the teacher contact information. Uh, all students do have access to an email account. Um, and another video, I'll show you how to get to your email and write a proper email. Uh, CMS Middle School office hours are on this Google Sheet. Um, I know it's a lot to look at. Uh, each teacher has their own designated color as well as abbreviation. You'll see the abbreviations for each teacher at the top and it's broken down by the day of the week. So you'll know what time to contact teachers. If there is a Z, that means that teacher is in a Zoom meeting at that time. 
So if you need a teacher to contact you, uh, during a Zoom would not be a very good time to try and contact them because they'll be preoccupied. Um, it's also broken down by teacher. So this would be Miss Newcomers. Uh, the color matches also the one on the front. Uh, Miss Rogers, Miss Darden, Miss Widus, Mr. Mangwari, Snyder, Miss Reed, Miss Evans, Miss Struther, and Miss McFadden. So you can see all of our office hours, all teachers will be available nine to three. Um, but these are going to be the best optimal times to get a hold of us. Um, so if you need to contact a specific teacher, you can just click on the links or the tabs below, and that'll take you directly to that teacher's office hours. So below that is our Zoom expectations. Uh, it's just a simple PowerPoint, just saying what we expect to happen during our virtual meetings. Uh, Google Classroom codes, so we have art and music, uh, Google Classroom codes. So those of you that don't have it um, can access it here. And then our very first middle school meeting Zoom agenda. And what we talked about is on this Google slide, just to kind of jog your memory if you just missed it. And that is our middle school general Google Classroom.